There's been a trend on social media uh, lately. Uh, yeah, well, over the last like year or two, I think what I think what happened was I think there was a couple you know social media conferences you know, that bled into our DJ conferences and the wedding conferences. And I think like a lot of these like social media experts or whatever, you know, gave these seminars and gave all this advice and everyone followed it and everyone does it now. And um, it, the advice gets watered down. I think the advice, I think the idea of this is good, but it gets watered down um, by people that don't understand what they're doing. And I want to kind of address this and it kind of just drives me nuts too. Cause like it, it, it evolves me. Okay. And it probably evolved you before you've probably seen this before. You ever see this on a post, you ever see like an Instagram post and then below it, it's like venue, florist, photo, video, DJ, decor, planning, and then like 48 hashtags look familiar, right? We've seen this before. It's a common trend. Everybody does it. Now, the essence of it is a good idea, right? You tag everyone who had something to do with that photo. So you have a photo of a bride and her groom. And so the couple's there. And you tag where they got the suit. You tag where they got the dress or whoever made the dress. You tag the person that took the picture. You tag the venue it's at. Because that's where the pictures took. You're asking all the questions that people, you're, you're answering all the questions that people would have, right? I love that dress. Where did she get it? Oh, right here. The tag's right there. I love that ballroom. Where is that? Tag's right here, right? This makes perfect, perfect sense. And I feel like that's the message that they put out there that, you know, you should do this. And I agree with this. I think this is a great idea. But what happens is, is people water it down and people just start spamming, especially the older people. And I don't mean to pick on you older people, okay? Like, But like anybody who's like 45 or older, definitely 50 or older, most of you don't really grasp social media completely and haven't like tried to, you know, like for whatever reason, you just don't grasp it completely. So like you just, you, you have the habit of just spamming things. You just spam everything. Thousands of hashtags on everything. Thousands of tags on everything. Like pe pe people are like legit, uh, like, like, had a headache, Advil, trees at the venue, trees, the company that built the building, the construction company, bride's cousin who brought coffee that morning, let's tag her, oh, bird who pooped on the walkway, let's tag the bird, oh, there, a car drove by, better tag that car, huh, my mom, she gave birth to me, I should tag her in every photo, right, because she made me, my mom made me, why don't I tag my mother in every photo I post, why don't I do that, you know why I don't do that? Because it's stupid. Because it's stupid. Because you only should tag things that are relevant to the post. You can only tag things that are relevant in the post. Otherwise, it makes absolute no sense. And I say this and it affects me and it annoys me because so many times I get tagged and shit. There's nothing to do with me. I get tagged. And it's not like you did, like it's not DJs that do it. It's, I'm just, I want to put this out there. Like, you know, I mean, no, DJs definitely fucking do it. Don't get me wrong. But I'm saying, like, for me to get tagged in something, it's usually a wedding planner, a photographer. But like, so I'll be, I'll be tagged and I'm like, oh, cool. I look at the post. There's not one single post that has me in it or the dance floor. Like there's no, there's no packed dance with nothing. It's just, it's a post of the bride and groom getting married. It's like their engagement shoot. It's like their, 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 their sunset pictures. You know what I mean? Like their first dance pics. That's it. There's nothing to do with me. Why'd you tag me? You know what I mean? Like I, for what? It doesn't like, it doesn't. So you're spamming all these people, and I feel like people just get in the habit of just, all right, every post, every story, everything I do on social media, I must tag every possible person and every possible hashtag on earth so the most possible people can see it. What you're doing is you're making your content look like spam, okay? That's all you're doing. You're making your content look like spam so people are going to engage with it less. You're actually shooting yourself in the foot, not to mention, you're potentially annoying people that you're tagging when it has nothing to do with them, so they're not going to like it. It, just, it makes no sense. And I mean, listen, there's, there's different ways. I'm no social media expert. There's different ways to like, you know, do it or whatever. But for me, I'll tell you right now, I stopped using hashtags a year ago. Go back on all my Instagram posts. I stopped using the hashtags a very long time ago. You want to know why? Because they didn't work. Because they stopped working. And I saw a lot of studies, and actually recent ones I looked up, where they say that like one to three hashtags is the max. Anything like after you, really after one hashtag, it, the engagement goes down. The engagement goes down. And 
Instagram is doing this thing as well where they're banning hashtags. There's a lot of hashtags that are getting banned. Some for like reasons like, you know, I don't know, going against like vaccines and shit like that. But others just because they're spammed so much and so oversaturated that they don't want people to use them anymore, right? Like hashtag beauty is banned. Hashtag like, 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 like obvious like basic hashtags like that are getting banned. And if you use those hashtags, it can severely affect your algorithm and severely affect who likes your posts. So my advice to you guys, all right, take it or leave it. Do your own research, okay? Who the fuck is Nick? He don't know shit about shit, all right? This loser, he, he whatever, okay? He's just a loud mouth guinea from Jersey, right? Whatever, do your own research. But I know for one thing, okay, none of you can tell me that using 12 hashtags in your Instagram stories. So you have literally a paragraph of hashtags and paragraph of tags of people or, you know, literally 38 hashtags in your actual Instagram post with 4 billion people tagged in it. So many people tagged that the last two didn't even get tagged because Instagram has a limit, you know? That's not helping you. You're shooting yourself in the foot. You just look spammy. Just post a picture with a great caption. People will like it. If it's a good caption and it's a good picture... People will like it. And guess what? If they don't, who cares? They keep it moving. They post another picture. Figure out what your people like. Or just stay consistent and you'll find more people that like the stuff you post. Like You don't have to spam everything. You know? Hashtags are so oversaturated now from the old people coming to Instagram and oversaturating them that they don't work. They literally don't work. I stopped following every single hashtag. I used to follow hashtag wedding DJ, hashtag like all the relevant stuff to like what I do. But everyone spams it. It's not relevant. Like, there's hashtag wedding DJ on, like, club posters. Like, you know what I mean? So it doesn't make sense for me to follow it anymore. I'm annoyed by the content that pops up on my feed, so I unfollowed it. And I'm sure a lot of people did the same. So that's why they're not working anymore, you know? Facebook got real shitty. I talked about this, like, two weeks ago, I think. Like, Facebook got real shitty. So as a result, all the older people that were all about Facebook and didn't like any of the other stuff, you know, because, oh, it's stupid or whatever, now they're all trickling into Instagram. They're coming in in drugs droves into Instagram. My mom's on Instagram. My aunt and uncle are on Instagram. All these older DJs are posting on Instagram more where I never seen them post ever, right? And that's a good thing. Instagram is great. You should be here, but you have to use Instagram the way it's meant to be used. Don't Facebook our Instagram because you're going to ruin this. And then what do we got? I like Instagram, you know? <laughs> you're Facebooking the Instagram. Like just my recommendation is just if you're going to tag people, it has to be relevant. If you're going to hashtag something, it has to be relevant, but limit the hashtags. Under five. I think five's too many. I would do one or two. If I hashtag something, it's because it's something super relevant. Maybe the couple's hashtag, you know, if they had. But I only do the couple's hashtag anymore if they legit had it like written around the room. Like if it was in the monogram or if it was like on a board at the bar where people got drinks or like, you know, their hashtag was on a big thing display during cocktail hour. Like if it's like a, a real like known hashtag, then I'll use it if I make a post. Otherwise, me just announcing it once, no one's going to use it. So I don't use it. I'm not even going to waste the text space. I'm not even going to make my post even look like that. Look at all my posts. I haven't used a hashtag in forever and my engagement hasn't changed a bit. Not one bit because it doesn't matter. It does not matter. Okay. Good content, good captions matters. And that is it. Trust me. Okay. Take, t t just, just, or don't trust me and do your own research. And when you do your own research, you'll find out I'm right because it's a fact, okay? Stop spamming me, people, okay? If you're a wedding planner watching this, thank you for booking me. But, uh, you know, like, seriously, really appreciate the bookings. <laughs> but, but, but don't tag me in shit that doesn't involve me, you know? Because, you know, it's annoying. <laughs>